you might be thinking that we're going for a picnic. But no, it's a very serious video. Hi guys! Today we are talking about things that are poisonous to cats. Things that you can find in your house. In this basket, we've prepared food related items that you can find in anyone's home that are very poisonous to cats. Of course, there is a lot of things that cats shouldn't eat, but this is a selection of items that are the most poisonous. First, we have coffee or anything with caffeine, caffeinated drinks, anything like that. Um, Coffee, when ingested by cats, can cause problems from cardiac arrhythmia to organ damage, so definitely keep it out of reach. Chocolate. It is very well known that chocolate is poisonous to dogs, but it is also very poisonous to cats. It can cause heart issues, kidney failure and seizures, so it is definitely going on the no-no pile. Raisins and grapes basically any form of grapes. Um, it can cause kidney failure too, so be very careful and don't let your cats eat it. Some of the very common things that you can find in anyone's kitchen include garlic and onion. They are very, very poisonous to cats. They can cause red blood cells damage, which is very serious. So as you can expect, they are also going on the no-no pile. And we have milk. This is oat milk, we just didn't have cow's milk at home. Um, but it is not very good to give your cats milk. Even though they might like it, it can very upset their stomachs. Next we have my favourite food, avocados. It is speculated that they are not as poisonous as previously thought, but it's best to keep them in your fridge, just so your cats can't get to it, just in case. Next up, we have alcohol. As little as a tablespoon of an alcohol can cause brain or liver damage in a cat. This one kind of ties in with the previous one. As you may know, yeast is used in the fermentation process, so it may produce alcohol in a cat's stomach. Another thing is that it expands, so it can cause stomach rupture. No, no pile. This one is very important. It's salt. Any type of salt. Kitchen salt may cause diarrhea and vomiting, but also be very aware of salt lumps. We've heard a story about a cat that was licking a salt lump and that caused a lot of neurological damage. Salt can cause brain swelling in cats. So this poor kitten lost its sight and hearing and was just in very, very bad condition. Fortunately, it went through a lot of rehabilitation and is still alive, but salt can actually kill your cats. So be very careful with that. The last thing on our food list is, it's not a mango. I'm going to try to convince Matt to turn this into um, a green tomato using his editing skills. But if you're still seeing mango, just imagine it's a green tomato. So what's up with the green tomatoes? Surely normal tomatoes are not that bad for cats. Well, green tomatoes actually contain a very poisonous toxic alkaloid that can cause gastrointestinal issues. So that completes our food no-no pile. We can move on to the next basket that we prepared for today. Oh, we're actually gonna put these back in this basket first, just to make it safe. What's this, Mom? <laughs> now we're going to our next section, which is more household and cleaning related products. We're going to start with bleach. Cats actually love the smell of bleach. Scientists are not sure why, but they suspect it's chlorine, which kind of reminds them of catnip, or at least their reaction to it is very similar as to catnip. They love to roll around in it. Obviously, that is not good for them. So make sure that if you're using bleach for cleaning, wipe all of the surfaces and make sure there is no residue left. If it's just a smell and your cat might go a little bit crazy, that's fine. Our next one is antifreeze. Matt didn't go to the car to pick up one, so we're just going to have to use his magic editing skills to put a bottle of antifreeze here. <laughs> 
Now, if he hasn't done it, imagine that there is antifreeze here as well. Even a few drops of antifreeze can cause serious kidney damage. So definitely be careful with that. Of course, that doesn't apply to cats that are strictly indoors, but even if your cat goes to the garage and you might be using antifreeze there, be very careful. Next, very common ones, ibuprofen, paracetamol. Human medicine, even very small amounts can cause irreversible damage to cats' liver and their red blood vessels. Keep them away. Bluebee shouldn't be here. But he will be safe. He's only watching from the distance. So far. But he likes getting inside of the basket, so we're just going to have to watch no, out. No, no. Next we have laundry detergents, fabric softeners and anything like that. Depending on what they are, they can cause things like hair loss, um, burns, but also some of them can be fatal. We have here just normal Aeropods, the Unstoppables, and Lenor. That's a massive bottle of Lenor. <laughs> my favourite one. I know what you might be thinking. My cat would never be interested in any of these. Would you, Bluebell? But the real danger um, comes when you spill something on the floor. Or, for example, these ones. They're just very tiny pieces. If that gets on cat's paws or if the liquid um, gets on their paws, obviously they clean themselves very often and they might ingest it that way. So definitely... Move. A no-no pile. What else does everyone have and use every day? It's toothpaste. A lot of toothpaste contain xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener. It is also a replacement for sugar, so some people use it to sweeten their coffee. It can be potentially fatal to cats. It can cause a serious liver damage. So make sure that the toothpaste is out of reach from your cats. Or get one like this. That one doesn't contain xylitol. Of course, you do have to have chemicals in your house. You do have to have cleaning products and clean around your cats. But you can always opt for more safe options like non-toxic sprays. Like for example, Method. At the back of it, it only says just really nice things like for shiny surfaces that smell good enough to lick. Whereas on that one, you only see warnings. Keep out of reach out of children. Make sure that if it gets into your house, consult your doctor. It is clearly a very serious, dangerous chemical. So just make sure to be aware of what you have in your house. Bluebee has been a good boy so far. He's been watching everything from the distance or on the pile. Not that he didn't try to get in the baskets. He loves the baskets. Next one is another one that we don't have because we don't have dogs. But any insecticides for dogs can be potentially fatal to cats. A lot of them contain toxic ingredients made of flowers that are actually poisonous to cats. This brings us to my least favourite section and that is flowers. There is so many plants that are potentially fatal to cats that it is quite sad, especially if you like having fresh flowers in your home or if you have a beautiful garden with loads of plants in it. The most important one we need to talk about is lilies. They are very, very dangerous, very poisonous to cats. Any part of the flower can potentially be fatal, be it leaves, the actual petals, the pollen, or even water in the vase. You may be thinking that your cat might not be interested in eating the flowers, but the common way of getting the poison onto them is by walking past and getting the pollen on their fur, and obviously they would then lick it off. The list of unfortunately poisonous flowers is very, very long, but we're going to leave some links in the description below so you can do some further research if you wish. Some of the common ones include very popular Christmas plants like mistletoe, holly and poinsettia as well as some more spring flowers like hyacinthus, daffodils and my favourite ones, peonies. But worry not, there are some flowers that you can safely have at your home. They include freesias, stocks and any types of roses. So that's good, isn't it? This is all we've prepared for today's video. As always, we hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!